Four District Representative Honorable Vincent Scatliff reported to the Fourth District during his launch on September 26 at the bandstand, where he said that he was able to fulfill many of his plans, while others were reprioritized to ensure that civil servants kept their jobs during the global economic crisis. The Fourth District Representative said that upon taking office, he proposed to remedy the flooding and garbage problems facing the Rotung area. He said a contract has been signed with a local garbage contractor within the 4th District to collect garbage, and he is currently waiting funds from the Caribbean Development Bank loan in order to raise a bridge in Road Town, which he said will help remedy the flooding. We have a contract signed with a local garbage contractor in this district, specifically assigned to collecting garbage. Ladies and gentlemen, Minister of Health can testify. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been back on daily, sorry, on periodic cleaning of the guts in the 4th District. Ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've also started training of some of the guts in the district. Ladies and gentlemen, I am just awaiting the 15 plus million dollar loan from CBD so that we can raise the bridge by the fire station, which seems to be creating such a flooded issue in the 4th District. You will understand, and most of you have experienced it, that when the flood, the heavy rains come, the, the capacity of that bridge is so significantly reduced by all the utility poles and utility um, facilities that are there, that they have reduced the capacity, the, the fluid capacity or the flow capacity of that bridge. So when the locks come from up District 2, along with all the other car parks, the wheels and the fenders, etc., and the stoves and the benches and the sofas, they get blocked at the bridge and it's in peach flow and as a result the water comes over and poor Fatima and all the others in the basin area and Scatley Valley are flooded out. So ladies and gentlemen, the architectural and engineering plans are on their way and I'm just awaiting the money from CBD. Right, Mr. Minister? That's right. That's there we go. That's a fact. Dr. Scatliff also reported on the sewage problem in the district, and he said that under the VIP administration, a contract was signed to remedy the sewage problem that has been an issue affecting several businesses and residents for several years. Many people have spoken about the stench of Rotong associated with the sewage. Some had 20 years, others had 12 years, some had 8 years, and the count goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, in my short three and a half years, my administration signed a contract to fix the sewage project in Rotan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I pledged, I told my party I could not come back to them four years later and not have the sewage problem solved. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, this sewage problem in Rotan could have been solved two years ago. Two years ago we could have solved this. If it wasn't for all the protests, the sabotage, the conspiracy, and the lobbying efforts by those against the project. The fourth district representative said that he appointed every Tuesday as district day where persons were able to visit him personally with or without an appointment to share their concerns and views about the fourth district. He also said that he has always been accountable as he was only out of the job when he was away on business.